this part of the tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a TrueCrypt volume to use for your software. So you want to start by opening up TrueCrypt, and you can run this in either a portable version. If you have it installed on your system, then that's another way to do it. It's a fairly simple process for using uh, TrueCrypt to create a volume with a, uh, a password on it. So you want to start by selecting Create Volume, and then the next thing to do is uh, you want to create an encrypted file container. So we're going to do that by clicking on Next. And then we're just going to go with the standard TrueCrypt volume. A hidden TrueCrypt volume is something more um, out of the scope of what we're doing. It's not needed for this. But certainly you could visit TrueCrypt's website to get more information on that if that's something that you need it. We're going to select a file for TrueCrypt so that it can create a volume within that file. So we're going to go to our drive that we're going to use, navigate to that. In this case, I'm just going to use this SSS folder. And in here, we want to, we have two choices. We can either use a TrueCrypt volume using the uh, .tc extension on our file, or we can name it to anything we want, which we can with all files. TrueCrypt allows for either to be loaded in and mounted as a, as a volume. Uh, using the TC extension allows TrueCrypt to load it automatically, I think, when you double click on it, which is desirable in some cases. But in other cases, you don't want anyone to know that your volume is a TrueCrypt volume. So in that case, you can um, name it anything that you choose. All right. So let's give it a name of uh, tutorial dot whatever we want to call it, I guess. So let's call it tutorial dot lesson. It can be anything we choose. All right. So there we go. Now we go next and which encryption we want to choose all these things. So it tells you a little bit about it all. Uh, I just tend to stick with the standards here and and use that. So then I go next and then what size do you want this to be? Let's create a one gig file in this case and of course if you're using this on a USB stick um, it depends on the size of your USB stick how big you would want to be the, uh, this to be as your maximum limit on the other side of it you need it to be uh, big enough to hold the files that you're going to be putting in there. Alright we're ready to go forward. So the password we're going to use whatever we choose. I'm going to use a really short one right now I don't recommend you do that. For our cases here just for the tutorial that will work fine. So they're just letting us know that our password is sort of short but we're going to be okay with that and then what file system do we want to use. And again, for our preferences here, I think FAT would be just fine. Uh, depends on uh, what you're going to be doing with this. That You're okay to go with the FAT32 in this case. Now, the next thing here, as you see, is the random pool just moves around. So as you move your mouse, it actually helps TrueCrypt create more dynamic encryption for it, a stronger encryption. So you want to move your mouse around a little bit quickly and uh, give TrueCrypt something to do here. And once you've done that a few times, you can click on Format. TrueCrypt will go ahead and create the volume for you. And so just like that, it's pretty quick to do on this computer for a 1 gig. And here we go. It should be done any second now. There we go. It's been created successfully. And so, um, this just takes us back to our main screen and then... Uh, we don't want to create another one right now, so we can cancel out of that. Just to show our empty volume, we can choose any drive level that are here. We can go to Select File, and we can go find our TrueCrypt volume. And there it is, Tutorial.Lesson. We can open it, and then we go Mount. Then we put in our password, and there we have it. Now if I double-click on it, it will just open right up to there. And as you can see, it's mounted into the local drive H. If I go into properties for it, you'll see that it's formatted as FAT32 and that it's approximately just under one gig in size for free space and that's the drive that we created.